Well, I'm glad to see you came back. I've got a second shout out to do today. This one is for, yeah, this is for uh, a new sub that I've got. Doghouse Outdoors. Doghouse, he's a knife smith apparently. Just found his channel the other day. And he's given away uh, a uh, modified old hickory, if I, if I understood the video correctly. Uh, and here's the interesting point. This knife, and I've told him on the comments on his video, is a strong resemblance to the knife carried by Fess Parker back in the 60s as Daniel Boone. Now, it wasn't until the mm, third season that... Fess Parker carried the, the knife that looks like the one he's given away here. In the first two seasons, he carried one that was more of a... And I hate to use the term. A classic Bowie knife. And the reason I hate calling it a classic Bowie is because it has nothing to do with David Bowie. The, the man made famous for knife fighting... He was made famous by carrying a knife that more akin resembles a unmodified old hickory than it does the classic Bowie knife. It's called the sandbar Bowie knife. I've mentioned this in several videos and in comments galore, but that's not the point. The point is the knife that he's made out of an old hickory very much resembles what David Bowie carried. Yeah, and what uh, Doghouse wants to see in the shout-out is he wants to know about your favorite bit of camping, backpacking, survival gear. Now, I have saw a couple videos, and a lot of guys are showing him knives. Well, I like knives, too. But my knife is not my favorite piece of camping survival gear. It is my most important piece of gear. My favorite piece of gear is one that I DIY'd. You've seen it. A lot of you loved it. No, we're not talking about the cozy. We're talking about my stainless steel canteen. Now, Doghouse, I know you haven't been subbed to me long enough to know this one. But a couple months ago, I did this as a project. I took... one of these that would no longer keep stuff hot and I turned it into a single wall stainless steel thermos. That's my favorite piece of camping gear. It's also a most important and necessary piece of gear but still smells like mint tea that I had in it. Love mint. Love, love, love mint. Good for the stomach, good for what ails you. I've still got some modifying to do to this. I've still got to get it sanded down on the outside and then painted with uh, black thermal, but I'm not sure I need to, but... And then, of course, I've got one more mod yet to do to this as well. Uh, I showed you the fish mouth spreaders that I made a while back. Well, I've tried them in this. And unfortunately, matter of fact, not only in this, but in a bunch of other gear, they don't grab. Fortunately, this thing seals here rather than up here. So when I screw this down in, the seal is way down in here. Uh, against this lip down here where my fingertip is. So the next mod that I need to do to this is I need to drill a hole here and here in this very upper lip on the sides. That way my fish mouth spreaders can engage and grab it and hold it this way over the fire, but yet still maintain the seat for the seal on the lid, which is here. And there you go. My favorite piece of gear. Now yes, this is also a DIY and it's also one of my favorite pieces of gear, uh, which I have a video up on that too doghouse in case you want to go check that out. I have two pot cozy videos. 
and you will never believe where the material came from. No, it is not Reflectix. <laughs> but I'll let you figure that out from the video. So, if like me, you've never heard of this fella, Doghouse Outdoors, I'll leave a link down below. You go check him out, give him a sub if you like what you see, and tell him Emberado sent you. Peace out. By the way, don't forget to...